Sorry, people to see it. And <laughs> <laughs> sorry, too soon, too soon. Close and delete. Start over. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> you can't pee yourself. We just started. <laughs> no, no, I didn't pee first. <laughs> that was the mistake. We need like a wake up, San Francisco. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> wake up. Now. Oh, I see. Now, hi. When it says one watching, two. How do you know who it is? We shall find out by clicking. Your click here. Click. I'm not touching you. Just this. Oh, Michelle and Julie. Oh, hello. Okay, so just before I'll repeat this several times. Wake up, San Francisco. Wake up, San Francisco. Yeah. Wake up. Hi, I'm Sandy Citron, <laughs> and I'm and, and I'm Jamie, Jamie. Breslau. Yes. And we are coming to you live from my bathtub. Yes, and it's time to wake up, Rodan and Fields. <laughs> I'm really on the Full House kick. That's what we're doing. So before anybody starts freaking out about the fact that clearly there are two people who are not related sharing a bathtub with them, and we're not going to be apart. And no, we're not. But we have made a social distancing pact. So if you're curious about what a social distancing pact is, I will tell you. It is when you decide you've been in your house for several days, your friend has been in her house <laughs> for several days, and we have not been anywhere else that we won't be with anybody else. Oh, I'm out of focus. Fuck us. Why won't it focus? Oh, okay. Okay. okay, so she has been with nobody else. I've been with nobody else. Social distancing is still very much happening. Okay, now back to the fun. So we are mix and masking at the moment. Can we leave it just is not. No. We can't leave. Against the empty Lysol yeah, wipes. You can. Gravity. Hey. Oh, that worked. I'll move this way. This way. Now I know this. Huh? Oh. Hi, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. How are oh, you? My From Naples, Florida. I love that. Um, oh, I bet. Actually. The positive, Rachel, it must be beautiful where you are, considering we've been watching the footage of all the lunatics in Florida that are all crashing those beaches. Um, I probably would do the same. The the ears um, would have made my son very happy, but he's sleeping. Uh, this keeps coming in and out of focus. So anyway, I we... I Joyce Junker. Oh. Jill, are you related to Joyce? Jill, do you know Joyce? Say hi. Hi. This is Sandy. Hey. So, okay, this is, uh, why not get down to it? I feel like, S move it then. no, keep talking about your headband. I'm just going to make a little bit of an adjustment so that we're both in. Well, then I have to move. We'll still be distant. New phone. I don't have a, a thing on it anymore. So we were just trying to listen to, who were we listening to? Um, Indigo Girls. We're doing a live on Concert. Facebook, which is super cool, except for the fact that it all of a sudden started to say, in repeat, we have a request. We have a request. We have a request. We have a request. So, and also we figured that this is the best place to come live because it has great acoustics. Oh, <laughs> it's hot and full of dumbasses. Totally. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're from Chicago. They just flew down. Or New York. We'll blame New York. We'll blame New I York. mean, I can't. Edie. Oh, Edie, you waited too long to join this party. Okay. So I, let me share this. So, has it been a year now, maybe? Sorry, no, so oh. <laughs> I have finally found a glass that fits my needs. This has never been better than right now. So this is a full bottle of wine in this. And let me tell you, I'll, and once you get past to here, you just put the cork in there. Um, so watch. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Totally operates like a regular class. Like, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. She's watching. Perfect. But she doesn't get notifications. Why okay. aren't you getting notifications? Remember, on the top of my, in my group, it tell, you know how to switch your notifications. You've been doing this since before me. So in case you guys are wondering, also, thank you, Edie, for joining us. I did not know Sandy. Join the photo. Join the group. I didn't know Sandy when Edie... Is that, well, I did, but didn't. Edie 
Oh, hi, there's a child in here interrupting us. It's okay. So Edie was at my annual 3rd of July party, and she had really cool, um, like, Americana leggings. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> that was a perfect sound. It was perfect. We were going to Orlando in the upcoming months, and I was like, I need... Disney leggings. That's what I want. She's like, oh, okay, look, I just go online. And she went online and she's like, look, here. And I'm like, oh, I like those. Claim them. So she claimed them for me. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, she Tiffany. claimed them for me from this person. And I had no idea. I knew it was a Sandy, but I had no idea. And so she got my leggings for me. And I wore those leggings to Florida in October of uh, 20. No, it was 2017. So I had just yep. started my lash boost too. Mm -hmm. And then it was that November of that year, right after that, came back and you had your... Uh, Black Friday. Black Friday. Yeah. And I, I think I spent like $400 that you day. You spent a lot of... You were like my dream come true. But you did give me that, Sarah. I did. Because you it, loved it. It was amazing. And you were... The and I, I could tell it. you needed it. I know. I really... I should go get it. it but it was a time. I am in my... Only half your head is showing. Well, we are in a bathtub. Uh, I... Oh, my head. Oh, well, that's her fault. Okay. I wasn't going to That's the Where's your all. camera? Because I can't drink Well, your camera's the there. Camera. So we, phone. Let's do this. Oh, man. Everybody, if you just wanted to vomit. <gasps> no, sorry. We can't do that. Okay, fine. We're going to do this. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Oh, good. Okay. So, I know you. So, anyway. You so, go. what happened was that I came there and I saw her in person and I wound up buying a ton of she, clothes. You know, when you see my face, you're like, she needs help. I need to buy her stuff. <laughs> Think it was history. It's before. Okay. Right. Before. The so first I had fun. I tried on. Yes, it was. A, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We yeah. couldn't do that. Okay. So I tried on everything she asked me to try on, and I would not usually have done that, but I hadn't been like with people, and so I tried on everything. What was it, Julia? Whatever what? else. She just had the perfect no like, shape to try on all of it, and I really just wanted to see her in all of it. It was so fun, and you just you it, kept saying that you don't fun. do anything for yourself. Right. You weren't. And it was fun, like, and I had a great time. Yeah. And so over the next few months, uh, she would go live, and her child would come in, and I'd be like, oh, look, there's William. I'm sorry, my child is sleeping. No, he's not allowed to come and see this. But I, she was so poised and, like, did her thing, and I was poised. really, you were. <laughs> yeah, but it was <laughs> bullshit, but you were Nobody totally poised. It's true. <laughs> hi, Jacob. Oh, or, hi. Oh, Jaden's here. But he can't fit in the bathroom. He's not allowed. He could. We're practicing social distancing Here. from the kids. Yep. Say hi to Jacob. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, you're not allowed in here. Um, <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. She was stripping me and redressing me that day. She was, you were yes, like, yes, yes, like yes. a mother, right? Yes. Like she would put it over my head yes. just like a little girl. And I was like, oh, this is what I, I don't know how to do this. If I had a daughter, I'd be able to. That's good. So I met Miriam on the floor and I was playing with her while trying yes. on clothes. Yes. So, but what wound up happening was I saw her doing her thing. My husband had gone off on his, on his own and it was great. He did a great job. But I had this epiphany one night where like I didn't have Oh, wait, we don't have life insurance. And it was, oh, wait, mm. how much are we paying for independent health insurance? Oh, my God, take Olivia. No, I don't want the two I have. Social distancing from kids. You should, you heard? You you should, should see order, I think. The, my house. I'll take you on a tour later in the week of the sight words that are up. And <laughs> you got to just go to, like, my regular page and see the feed. Then I, I've literally become a kindergarten teacher. And I don't. I'm a middle school teacher. There was a reason I did not choose that path. It looks amazing, though. I'm taking her ideas of doing them in my classroom when I do finally go back. So, she's... If I do it, I, you know, go big or go home. So, mm -hmm. hi, friends! Hi, Annie! Annie. We love Annie, you! Annie, do a watch Annie. party! We have room for you right here. We do. Your little body would just right here, fit we right in here. You. Okay, Annie, you'll love this. If you haven't watched it already, we're in my bathtub that Rodan and Fields paid for. Yes. By the way, so... Okay, let's get serious for a second. Okay. I am in this bathroom that needed to be done, black mold all over, because I thought, and Rachel will understand this, that I could do it myself, which I can, totally able to have rebuilt this bathroom myself, which was uh, a tub here, and over there was a door and a totally separate room. Like a wall to the bath? Like yeah, it was absurd. Toilet. Originally, it was a walk-in closet into the toilet. Oh my oh, God, I have a friend. Oliver has joined us. 
And she is allergic to cats. It's okay. I love them so much. And my mask keeps me safe. Oh, I know. It's amazing. It is. But I... <laughs> She would, I she should just come over and I should like rent out space for this bathtub. But when it, okay, so when, woo woo, okay, Yay. we're mixing masking over here, watch party. Okay, so I'm Jamie Breslau, I guess I have to introduce myself again. I'm Sandy Citron, and I keep messing up the camera. <laughs> okay, so I have to back up to the original story. The original story is the <laughs> leggings that I bought from Sandy, then went over. And we became um, great friends, and we also, over time, realized all these, like, familial connections we have, which is very strange. And for those of you just joining us, we have a social distancing pact. Her family has been with no one else. My family has been with no one else. So it allows us the sanity that is getting together so that we can get live and be horribly obnoxious. Like, no one's mentioned the ears. Like, no. is that just seem like we're, And we're six inches apart. Isn't that the rule? It's like, it's like oh, inches. Oh, feet. Yeah, feet. Shit. Math teacher. But yeah, we're wearing ears and buns. Ears and buns. Okay, Keep so to continue. So, <laughs> okay. When um, you bought all the clothes, I did. I bought you all sent the me clothes. a picture of that night of your outfit. You were going out oh, for something. You were going out for someone's birthday or something like I have fancy. a few photos. It was like every day for the next but like, three like, months. But you were like, and he and Jaden took the picture, I think, because you were like, my little took my picture. Oh, Wait, that's amazing. That can I just the say that? I let him have the camera. Well, you got all that, and then I delivered something else to you not long after. Oh, in the mail. Uh, no, I brought it to you. I brought it there after dropping off Miriam at daycare. What about feet? And you almost ran over me. And. <laughs> oh! Because yeah. you're in my driveway. Yeah, and you like <laughs> open the thing, and you're like, oh, I was just on my way to drop off. And then I realized, oh, here you go. And you're like, thank you, thank you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just. That's my uh, favorite. Real quick, food for thought. So this on top here, mm -hmm. by the way, our T zone is the unblemished mask. This is the detox mask, and this is the soothe mask. So I don't know about you. Oh, this, the ears seem completely normal to me. They told. I mean, you know what? You're right. And you have known me for quite a bit of time. It is it's totally normal. This is me. So, um, I. I don't know about you guys, but as far as skincare is, is concerned, um, Annie had posted something earlier, too, that helped describe this. I posted a picture about Throwback Thursday, and it was a picture of me um, the March, a full like year before I joined the business. Mm -hmm. And I would started the products when, that October, before I came to your house with, with just Lash Boost. I did not wash my face or anything like that. I mean, I know that that sounds weird. Some people are like, holy shit, you didn't wash your face? No. There are people that just use water. Water. Yeah. That works. It doesn't. So, the three... <laughs> let's stop here. Three key things for skincare. I don't care what country you're from, what type of skin you have. It's exfoliating. It's hydrating. Cleansing? No. It's moisturizing. Oh, sorry. That's hydrating. You need, I know, you need an exfoliant mm -hmm. and you need to hydrate. And what's the third one? Annie's watching. Kate's watching too. She's an anesthetist now. What? Not an anesthetist. <laughs> an esthetician. An es an esthetician. esthetician. To be fair, my full bottle of wine glass has been used by the both of us. Yeah. Okay. But wait, no, it's, it. you have, cleansing is part of it. It's. Exfoliating, exfoliating, hydrating, hydrating. hydrating, and oh, and protecting from the sun. Duh. Duh, you need SPF every day. And SPF. Every day. My bad. Even if it's winter, you still need SPF. And you know what? Totally true. And Melissa should be watching. Um, I put some luck on every day because of this, these regimens. And what's great about it is that uh, I still get tan. I remember being 19 and I did... Um, a persuasive essay on whether you should do tanning beds versus the real sun and what's totally true is that the real sun does have extremely harmful rays that you are protected against when you wear your uh, your SPF you you've got UVA rays and you've got UVB rays um, but what's funny is that even though I tanned, like, to be honest, in the 90s, I tanned, like, at several different tanning salons. So if the rule was 24 hours, we would just go to a different tanning salon down the street, and then that would start that 24 hours over again. So sometimes I would literally tan 
20 minutes, 20 minutes max, twice in a day. Um, and so I wound up having skin cancer removed from the bridge of my nose, the crack of my ass, uh, totally true, this, my shoulder, and my waist. Anybody who knows me knows that I, I wear a one piece if I'm in a bathing suit, a B, there's some sort of clothing before going in, including waterproof clothing. Like I have pants that are like burqa pants you can wear in the water. But, um, so it, it took until after children for me to like have this growth on my butt and be like, hmm, I, that must be from having children, but it bothers me. You know, they pick on this mole, they pick on this mole. So I went to the dermatologist for the very first time. And they were like, hmm, that looks a little suspicious. So they, they took a biopsy of it. And yeah, it was basal cell carcinoma on my butt. Um, that butt has never seen the sun. It's only been in a tanning bed. And uh, this side of my hip, yeah, not the sun, totally only been in a tanning bed. So I've had basal cell carcinoma now on the bridge of my nose, my waist, uh, my shoulder, and my butt. So I still, I wear, I do my full regimen, redefine was what I used for the first year, three steps, and the third step has SPF in it, SPF 30. My mom once sent me a picture from Mexico. She was totally pissed. She had her hand like this, and it was like alligator skin, and her face was white. Dark alligator skin, and her face was white. And she told me that she stopped using it because she wanted to tan. When in fact, when she came home, she had a beautiful, healthy glow everywhere else on her body. Oh yeah, Tuck's totally hot from the picture. Um, but burning is the problem. It's really not the, the glow. I still get a healthy glow all summer long. I can't uh, not get it. But I'm not getting singed. The singeing is what causes the patches and the freckles that I was not born freckles. with. Yeah. yeah. There are people who are born with those freckles. Um, very few and far between. That's a specific skin condition. Um, but those that are born without freckles, which... If you look at pictures, everybody, look at your baby pictures and the baby pictures of your children. They don't have freckles. Jaden has these adorable freckles on his nose. Everybody says they're so adorable. No, they're not. He didn't have those two years ago. It was the last year, two years ago, when he went to camp refusing to wear sunblock. And so now he has these, some, these freckles that, though cute, are literally the sign of sun damage and something to watch out for, basal cell carcinoma in his future, where they mm -hmm. have to burn it off. So, yes, sunblock. It's not going to prevent you from getting tan. It's just not. You will get a healthy glow. Um, but you won't. You will be protecting yourself from those very harmful rays. So, I use now brightening. I went from redefine. And people have asked um, Annie. Uh, she totally has, has used Botox. Um Clearly not, and, if, and mm -hmm. I mean I don't have I don't have crow's feet. I totally did. Aww. It was the first thing that my mom said was uh, something she noticed was that I didn't have these like natural crow's feet anymore. They are gone. I have expression lines. Did you take a sip and then need to put it back? Yeah. My foot's falling asleep. My foot. Yes, Kit. Kit. No, Kit's so smart. Kit. Well, and she's an esthetician. I totally I get it. Oh, and Kit. We I have looked tons up. Tons of estheticians in our business. I looked up. We do. And anesthetist. But I looked up what it would be to be a mm. medical um, anesthetist. And you'll have to tell me the difference, whether you are an esthetician. esthetician. But you should post your results because her unblemished results. Oh my God, they're amazing. And it's two months, right? To take... <laughs> I, I will tell you, that's the power. Sorry, makes that's, sense. that's the power of, of this product. And some people are a little like... Um, a little naysay, right? Like, how can it be true? So a little background um, real quick is that Dr. Rodan and Dr. Fields, when they did proactive, that was like, um, they hit every, uh, you should be in this. They hit know, every um, <laughs> obstacle that any woman entrepreneur would end, would would hit, right? Like, they, they had this product. They were going to change young people's lives they were going to take care of acne, 
and they weren't taken seriously. Um, and for those of you that don't know, they did grow up, the doctors, just here. Um, so when they became these Stanford-trained dermatologists and they created Proactive, people wouldn't buy it, and they weren't taking them seriously. That's how they decided to go to the infomercial, which until that point had been like, you know, you'd make fun of your, your, your parents or your grandparents going online and buying all this garbage that, you know, they were totally duped, right? They, they bought this crap. It's never going to... Can you zoom out? No, I tried that. Let's... Your zoom... <laughs> oh, I can zoom in. Um, okay, so... Well, no. She just needs to not be so worried about the coronavirus and get closer. Um, oh, um, I'm not worried about it. I know. Okay. So, okay. So they went to um, that channel. They decided to do those commercials. Um... Oh, yeah. Infomercials. Yeah, infomercials. And they blew it up because oh. those people that actually bought Proactive, including myself, and I still have mm -hmm. it, and on it, it's still sealed. It says we're in fields. I didn't even know. Oh, and remember, like, Teen Magazine or Seventeen, you could, like, tear out the... There was, like... Well, the, like a, like like a sample? sample? Yeah. And it ha no, it was, a, it was a tear out order form because you could only order it through mail order. It took, like, six to eight weeks. Or you could... Mm -hmm. Um, call the end, like the phone number. And that reminds me about how Victoria Albrecht, who um, oh. she's the first Chicago consultant because she's, thank you, very, she's the, besties with Dr. Fields, right? Yes. Oh. Well, wasn't she at her bar mitzvah, at mitzvah? Oh, yeah. Childhood friends. So, but, but okay, so they, they all of a sudden, they launched this product that actually worked and did what it said it was going to do through infomercial. Blew it wide open and now Proactive's worldwide. Okay, it was bought. Great. So they decided to launch products that would affect what they were seeing in their doctor's offices. So in the office, while they were practicing dermatologists, people would come in and they would ask if there was a treatment for, you know, these fine lines and wrinkles or these dark spots and these patches or the redness. Like they, people were just having sensitivity um, and also acne. But not mm -hmm. acne in children, mm -hmm. it was unique that there was acne in adults and mm -hmm. that there's a difference. That when adults develop acne, they could have gone acne-free for most of their teen years into young adulthood and then all of a sudden are suffering from acne. That's totally uh, something that happens and different than mm -hmm. why you get childhood acne. So they launched their own product, put their name on it, wrote in Fields, and they went to like these, you know, posh... And expensive outlets like Nordstrom, like Bloomingdale's, and they were doing really great. But um, when they looked, they were doing really great. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they were purchased, so it was like awesome. Estee Lauder was like, okay, they're selling more skincare than we are. Let's buy them. Mm -hmm. So Estee Lauder, who owns Lancome, Clinique, and and more. Um, bought Rhode Island Fields. Great. And Bobby Brown. And Bobby Brown. Yeah. Oh, and a smattering more that I can't, I don't even know. Smash, no. Smashbox, maybe. Maybe. Uh, they all, I so, Estee Lauder wound up launching mm -hmm. Rhode Island Fields in Bloomingdale's and all those others. And they wound up doing really well. So, Rhode Island Fields, though they didn't own it anymore, Doctors Rhode Island Fields. They looked into it, and it was interesting because the girl behind the glass counter was not the one selling it. It was the mom, the friend, mm -hmm. the girlfriend who just so happened to get it at Bloomingdale's and wanted to be like, yeah, it's right in the fields. It's unblemished. It's redefined. It's whatever. And people went and bought it. And so they were like, you know what? I have an idea. I don't... Let's not give 45% of the company... To a brick and mortar to, store, and the middleman, and the they wanted to just they literally just bought yeah. Rodan and Fields back from Estee Lauder for three times what they sold it for. I I still get chills when I hear it because it's unnecessary. They didn't need to do it. They were billionaires. Please don't leave those masks <laughs> on for too long. It's already been too long. It's okay. So what you should do now, Kit, please, is tell me why. Why should we not leave them on too long? Because I think the max for one of them is five to ten mm -hmm. minutes. This one, ten minutes. 
This one, five to ten minutes. It's super drying. Um, Isn't that really... I mean, it's super drying. And... But I had a hot, hot, hot shower, and then I moisturized, and people also don't know that, you know, that hot showers are actually... They're really bad for your skin. Yeah, tepid, lukewarm, like, not bad. Yeah, but who the fuck is going to do that? No one. We have a delay. No one heard that door. No one heard it. Bleep. Don't watch it with your kids. This is iPad wine. Jacob is watching. I remember again. Oh, hi, Jacob. Remember again, this is the, the wine glass that everybody must find. Go to your local dollar store. You might find it. Come on, Kit. Why should we not have left them on for so long? We have a delay. Just a tiny delay. Okay, oh. she'll get there. Um, where were you? Let's see. Uh, okay, they, so they bought it back. Yeah, they bought it back. Bought it back for three times as much as they sold it for because they wanted to cut out that middleman, the 45%, and give it to the people. Uh, good. And give it to the well, people. The recession. Who, what? The recession? Well, actually, they, right, it was a recession. It was 2008. Um, we were in a recession. Yes. And um, similarly to what's happening now, the real estate market plummeted. Um, that's actually when my dad was forced into retirement. He had been a, a general contractor for 40 years, very successful entrepreneur, did a wonderful job as Mr. Edition. Um, but during that time, people were laid off in the masses. And um, one of our leaders had lost their job. She helped launch uh, Smashbox, which is now, you know, like amazing. Um, and wound up joining one of the first Gordon Fields consultants in this business on a whim um, in 2008 in a recession. So, um, businesses like this, why are they recession proof? Well, Rodan and Fields, when they went live with their company, Rodan and Fields, using this channel, network marketing, um, was novel and new in a channel also tied up with this thought of a scheme or, you know, um, but I will tell you, when you think of network marketing, social, uh, social networking and direct sales, I think of Tupperware. Mm -hmm. And my aunt, who's uh, just turned 85, she sold Tupperware. And Tupperware was amazing. It changed the way we, we dealt with food and the food industry completely changed in response to Tupperware. So I, I think that they're not the first to have blown up this channel. But our model is definitely different than others. And you, you can ask me. Um, oh, awesome. Thank you, Edie. I love you oh so much. Um, <laughs> Thank you. But so, okay. Like, why, why, did they, why did they do it? You know what? I get maybe it's the doctor's oath. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Well, part of it is that they, so going back to the stores, why they bought it back. They were seeing that their boxes were just boxes. Like the boxes, is just, it's just another box of, of skincare that, that without a person there to tell you or to give you their feedback because they've tried it, just looks like another box. How do you know if it works? When I go to Ulta, like how do I know if anything I pick is going to work? I don't know. I don't know. I just, or work together. Right, or work together. Or cancel each other And out. oh my gosh, and all the a la carte shopping that I did before, uh, before Rodan I Fields. saved my bag. I just bought like everything. I saved my bag of old stuff. For, Yes, I know. I can't wait to see it. I still, I've never seen it in person. Oh, um, break it out. But yeah, but they they saw that the person that was selling it, like you said before, was the the person behind the counter. It was about the relationship that you built with your the person you purchased from, and that connection, and then word of mouth helped other people want it too. And so they decided, well, why not empower women and, and men? Because we have lots of men consultants also. But it was about empowering those people, taking the middleman out. And it, it's about the relationship that you're building with the people who are who are purchasing from you. Um, and because we're current users. And because it worked. Like, if this product didn't work, this would not work. This would not be what it is now. No. If, if they didn't work. They're so, 10 years, only 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember whether it's um, not, uh, Mary Kay and... Um, what's the other one? Sorry, Avon. Okay. Avon. So, between Mary Kay and Avon. I don't remember which one. But it took 33 years to become a billion dollar company for them. And it took uh, 80 something years was, was 80, for the other 80. to become a billion dollar company. And it took Rady, uh, Ronan Fields 10 years to become a one and a half billion dollar company. And um, all I can tell you is that that 
it goes to our back office, our front office, and to us direct. Mm -hmm. And so I use the products. You know me. Um, a person called me who I was who had never called me on the phone before. We didn't never talk on the phone. We were not friends, um, but she was a family friend. And so when she called, I thought something had to be wrong. Somebody's <laughs> dead. I was in the bathroom, um, and she called and she was like, "Hi, it's Jill. If you see this, um, <laughs> I just wanted to call and tell you about um, Ronan Fields, and they have this new offer." And I was like, "Ronan and Fields, I." I don't know who that is. And I'm like, is everybody okay? And she was like, yes, everybody's fine. I'm just calling to tell you about this this offer. We have this new product, Lash Boost. And after, she kept talking, but I didn't hear it. All I heard was Lash Boost because before that, um, my entire life, it's just genetic. We have very short, stubby lashes. And um, I had finally started to feel like a human being, um, that my kids were older now. And I looked at myself and just realized that I had put them first for too, too long. And that it, it had um, sucked a lot of me just dry. I was just not there anymore. I didn't recognize the person that I was. And so um, I got lash extensions because my neighbor had them and they were like amazing and they looked real. And I was like, oh my God, your eyelashes are amazing. So I got them and lash extensions are huge. They, or at least they were a huge business. And though it's great, the problem with lash extensions is that you can't actually wash your eyes. So a lot of styes and infections getting in your, um, you know, your lash um, pore. And then um, what wound up happening was just from like if you rubbed your face by accident, your lashes fall out. And when I went in for a fill every two weeks, I was really good about it. Um, she put my fill on and there were so many missing after the two month mark. And she was like, and it's taken really like a short period of time. And instead of the hour and a half, it was like 45 minutes. I was done and I looked and I was like, they're, they're gone. I, I literally mourned the loss of those lashes. I couldn't, I felt duped. I did. I'd spent um, about $200 to get the full set the first time. And then it was like $75 a fill every two weeks. And I had to leave the house. And go and do it. And at the time, it was like, great. It was like people who go to get massages. It was me time. But when they fell out, um, I hid. I did. I hid, I hid from the world until they would grow back. And, and your lash cycles are on a minimum of, a two, of two weeks. So when Jill was talking and she said lash boost, I had never heard of it. I didn't know who wrote in her fields was. I just decided. I'm like, okay whatever it is, I'll try Lash Boost. I didn't ask my husband. I didn't I didn't ask anybody. Let's just do it. Um, so I bought a Lash Boost Plus um, Redefine Regimen. I got my package two days later. Um, I had my free shipping. It was awesome, whatever. But um, what she told me was two things that I listened to was take a before picture. My before picture is very bad. Because I, I didn't know how to selfie, and it was like, ugh, okay. But, um, so I took the before picture, and I was like, no, yeah, whatever. And then I set an alarm. So for the next um, six weeks, I would get in my bed sometimes, and fudge. I didn't put my lash boost on. And I, and I did it, because I, I had made this promise to myself. It was the one thing I was going to do for myself and nobody else, and we'll just see. And I didn't tell anybody, and it just was fine. Six weeks, I went on that Disney vacation mm -hmm. with my Disney leggings that were adorable. <laughs> and I went to put on my mascara that day at, in the hotel and I yelled for Jason because who else knows but him. And I was like, check this shit out. I'd only put on <laughs> one like swipe of mascara and it was so weird because I had so much like, I kept going. And he was like, oh my God, that is the coolest. So... At six weeks, I was, I was mind blown, and I was like, dude, I was joking. I was like, when I get home, I should open up that regimen. Like, <laughs> I, I didn't even know what regimen meant. I remember calling my mom, and I'm like, so I started this regimen, and she was like, oh yeah, I've used a regimen. I, I Clinique's my regimen, and I was like, okay. <laughs> I mean, I have the Clinique products, but I did not understand what regimen meant. I didn't even know that there was a word for a regimen, like 
following a regimen. I know that also, sounds dumb. It sounded like old, like women who were very secure in their skincare products had a regimen. But I never knew that as like, for me, I thought that was like something my mom did. Well, and my mom, she's like, yeah, I've had this regimen for years. Yeah. So when I had seen you do your lives and I was like, I totally need something. I need a, I need a, I need a plan. I need a backup. I need something. I'm home with these babies and I have nothing. And I didn't, I didn't have a space. I didn't want to, I absolutely can't fold my own clothes. There was no way that I was going to do <laughs> I mean, I can't, it's, I can't, I hate it. Laundry gives me knives. It, it, yeah, it did not. And I couldn't work, work retail. Like when someone's <laughs> helping me at Nordstrom or some store, I'm like, oh my God, God love you, man. Like, I don't, I can't, doesn't this drive you crazy with all the people that leave the clothes in the dressing room? <laughs> oh my God, I can't, I, I, can't. That. I had to be in charge of a dressing room once. I, I worked retail like one hell. time. And all I wanted was to be cashier. They didn't make me cashier, so I quit. But I worked retail. I worked at Best Buy for two for two weeks. Oh, I did not made it that long. They wanted me to be a supervisor of customer service after those two weeks, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I left and I went so like to Ellie's. Oh, I went to Ellie's, mm-hmm. and it was jam packed, <laughs> and I made way more in cash a day. Let me tell you, the service industry. I have a book for that. I um, always wanted to be a server, but I never oh my god. Did it. My, I, I, my boyfriend would come in in the last half hour of my shift, and he would count my ones for me. So I <laughs> yeah. Jack, you should be watching this, but he's not in this group. Anyway, <laughs> I, I can share this. Um, the point B is that um, our businesses, you know, they continue. So we have had customers who we got in our first month or whatever of business, and it's a consumable product. And when it works... And you love it, and it's become not your mom's regimen. It's become your regimen with results you can see. Um, it's a gift from the doctors to the world. And there is no no bullshit there. Like, they're billionaires. They don't need to do this shit. It is all about giving back and remembering what it was like to be those two girls who weren't taken seriously as smart Stanford doctoral grads. Like us. Oh. Yeah, except for the fact they were both dumb teachers who went into it. For, oh my god! Not for the money. <laughs> um, dumb I wanted teachers. to change lives, right? And I was I needed meaning in my life. Well, this um, is. I mean, this creates meaning and change. I mean, we've literally been in my bathtub for I don't know how long. But if you've enjoyed this broadcast, I want you to know that there are uh, specials going on. Rhode Island Fields, just like the rest of the world, we're all still still happening and. While you're alone right now and you have the days to count, you might as well start the skincare regimen. Your I don't have time excuse is a bunch of baloney now. And don't tell me it's a I don't have the money excuse because do the math. Anything you bought at Walgreens or whatever, that's a one month supply, not a two month supply. And do the division because it really isn't what you think it is. It isn't expensive. And we're number one across all price points because it isn't. And what it does in the long run, um, go back and look at my throw, you know, Throwback Thursday photos because I have turned back the clock. And it didn't happen oh overnight. God. It may have taken a couple of years, but it totally Isaac. happened. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, because what up? if we're on Chromecast, then Zach's there. That's awesome. He'll Zach, do you like my ears? Do I look like Kiss? Oh, yeah. I the you the appreciate the artistry. I they did not touch, but now Kit has warned us that we should wash these off. She so, but she hasn't told us why. Oh, yeah. We'll probably be red. Probably. We're not going anywhere, so we won't be offending anyone. No. Um, but I will tell you that. Okay, specials. Yes. If you even get to this part, um, <laughs> and a regimen in general. So yeah, if you purchase um a regimen with Lash Boost bundle. It was extended till the end of this month. It is 20% off your entire order. If you're a new customer and you become a a PC, you get an additional 10% off. Also, um, I happen to have friends who have our coupon codes. Yes. So, coupon codes. Totally purple ears. We'll find them. Um, Coupon codes. They're a very new thing with RNF. But you can um, get a coupon code from a friend, a.k.a. I got some, my husband can send you, my mom can send you, and you get free perks. What are the perks? Perks are I should just stop at free shipping. 
Nobody wants to pay shipping. And like Amazon, you have this month, you have this yearly fee to be an Amazon uh, Prime person, right? And then you get your free shipping. Well, here you have a one-time $19.95 fee, mm -hmm. and that's lifetime to have free shipping. And what that really is is a loyalty program where you become customers of said consultants. You become customers of Sandy, customers of Jamie, customers of Annie, customers of Jill, and um, that rewards you with free shipping, 10% off. You get a consultant who's clearly uses the products, knows <laughs> you know what they're about, does the research, can answer your questions, 24 seven um, nurse uh, access. access to the nurse line, yeah. Um, and you know, it's a 60 day ref um, refund policy, literally. And well, and as a, as a preferred customer, you now get bonuses for referring to your friends. So when you share, Correct. there's a special code that you can share as a preferred customer with anyone. And each time that you share, you get 10% off. Up to 50. For, up to 50. You yeah. can literally get 50 10% off codes. Yeah. You can use them. Just delay your subscription or your auto replenish. Delay it umpteen times for the next year and use those 10% off codes in addition to the 10% off you already get. And you get 20% off for up to 12 months. Well, what happens if you use it now, though? So the 20% off yeah. bundle. Yeah. Regimen and... With 10% off as a referral. Yes. In and addition to your 10% off that you're already getting as a preferred customer. Yes. But, I mean, that's ridiculous. I know. That's crazy. Fans. <laughs> that's so, awesome. this has been Bathtub Talk. Okay? Tub Talks. And it, tub Talks. Like TED Talks, but Tub Talks. Tub Talks. If you've enjoyed this, the next time we do this, there will be music. There will be um, a better, like, camera placement. And I'd really like to answer questions that you have. Mm -hmm. Like sunspots, what what actually works? How long does it take to rid of them? And can you really rid of them? Yes, you can. Microdermabrasion paste and intensive renewing serum. Why does exfoliating a couple times a week make all the difference? Like if you don't want to wash your face every day, for real. Okay, don't. Use an exfoliant and an amazing hydrating serum. Mm -hmm. And the difference will blow your mind. Um, it is essential. It's really just down to those two simple things. But when you are a regimen user and you are AM, PM, and you become in control of that, you can turn back the clock. And that's truly the gift that is Ronan and Fields and that um, my soul sister, I call her my wife, um, she made me think that I, I could do more. And um, I will tell you, and I'll share a post later, today we were asked by our, our original Chicago um, consultant, what could you not do had it not been for RNF? You know, what could you, you know, what are you doing that you couldn't have done? Nobody mentioned the money. Nobody said, I'm rolling in the money. Even if they are, they didn't. Yeah, the money's nice. I mean, it is but the it's, perks, it's so much more But it than wasn't. That. It was things like I posted in response, I would not have this math, this master bedroom, master bathroom, um, cause I wouldn't have had the money. Um, but I didn't say that I just would not have had this master. I would not have had my soulmate, my bestest friend, because we really did become this close through becoming entrepreneurial and, um, and then joining my team and be and becoming this um, power partner and um, I also wrote that I would not have seen the way other people see me there's never in a million years would I've ever thought that I would go live right show <laughs> my my truth who I am um, but when I did and I spoke to people they said you know you're so fun oh and when I'd walk into a room they're like oh my god you just you you just light up a room and you know what I had missed that and I, I, I realized that I do have more to offer the world and I can be of service and I, I can be a motivator. And ultimately, that's what I, I want to be. I want to be that person who motivates you every day to do something different, something that stretches your boundaries. I mean, come on. 
There's so much more that this world has to offer. And even though we've been confined in these tight spaces, we still can see that. Um, and I also had said that, so that's really important, being able to see myself the way other people had seen me and not be, hey, hi, mommy. <laughs> hi, oh, mommy. mom, talked a bunch about you, but real quick, not your mom's skincare. Um, I remember saying to my mom when she was like, you did what? You became a part of this what? <laughs> I didn't tell anybody when I joined this business. My mom was like, oh my God, that that pyramid thing. And I was like, mom, what's your skincare routine? What is it? And she's like, I've had a, I've had a regimen. <laughs> I've always had this regimen. And I was like, okay, that's awesome. I totally respect that. How's it working? And she, <laughs> she was my hardest convert. And she was like, you know what? Mm. There, it went, there was silence. There really was. I just made that up. I don't know if you want to eat that. I both. I actually have it in my freezer. Oh. <laughs> okay. So my mom um, has been a fantastic supporter, but she's also been someone who has switched. She went from using um, the Estee Lauder, um, you know, own companies, <laughs> Clinique, and you know, I don't know. Well, she loves Clinique, didn't she? Mm -hmm. Like the soap, the toner. Oh, that's why I have all of that stuff. The gel moisture. I did it all. I only knew what my mom did. Um, but, mom, even if you don't remember, you said, you know, I do notice that you don't have those crow's feet. I mean, I'm looking right at you. I am 40. I don't. I don't just have them. Um, I have expression lines. But, but you don't even have, like, no. what you had before. No, and there's like, no, no, pu I didn't, I don't. There's no puffiness, um, and f just so you under and look at my eyelashes, like for real, that's one just quick swipe because I got out of the shower for the first time in a lot of days. Um, but so this here also went on. This is the detox mask. This is the unblemished mask in my T zone where I still, even as you get older, I mentioned that, um, Adult acne is not the same as teenage acne, and there's a reason. There's definitely a zone. But here, I have sensitivity, which my mom is always looking for my bumps. She was <laughs> like, let me see let me see your face and make sure you don't have those bumps. Um, so here is the Soothe Mask, and that's green, and that's for sensitivity. Um, so let's say your number one um, issue or concern is fine lines and wrinkles. Okay, mm -hmm. so you use your Redefine every day. But like once or twice a week, if your secondary concern is uh, acne or, you know, you get that like monthly um, breakouts, which I've had uh, a hysterectomy, so no longer um, that, but hormonal changes, totally. Forget your patch and you totally will get breakouts, which is hence the T-zone area with the unblemish, the soothe, and the detox. Um Lash mist literally is my favorite thing um, since uh, sliced know, bread. Okay. And, oh, and I, Annie was like her friends. See, now look, I have, obviously, I mean, I have expression lines. And expression lines just show you've lived. Like, it's great. But you shouldn't have them when you're just, you know, normal. Here I am. I'm 40. I have, no, I use my, my um, eye crack. Yes. My multifunction yes. every day. If My you've had has taken all of it from me. Oh, well that's why you have two. No, so, we have our own silver, uh, oh, our own brain, yeah. but we don't have our own multifunction and we need it because he Oh my god, you have to take my husband's. You have to take before now. I will. I will. I have I have lots of before. So if you've have found that Tub Talks was fun, entertaining, you've enjoyed it, drop a question, drop an emoji. Um, we love you and mom, don't worry, social distancing pact. Remember, it's Six you. Inches. <laughs> us we are sharing a glass mom if i find it i'll get one for you i this have another says, one you can have mine I don't finally know. i have found a glass that fits my needs and it <laughs> is wait so somebody else no it says finally uh, oh right. no finally a wine glass that fits my needs there were two a dollars full bottle of wine fits in here um and we've definitely made a dent oh. i may or may not I gotta go order dinner. Oh, social distancing. Have them drop it at the door. Um, I gotta go make dinner. Oh my god, we love you too much. And check out my lashes. Seriously, Edie, you should post um, yours and your before and after because uh, amazing, right? 
Kit, you still didn't tell me what was going to happen. Like, am I going to break out in hives for leaving it on too long? We need to know. The esthetician, esthetician, right? Yes. Is going to tell us why you shouldn't leave your masks on for too long. This is just for visual effect um, and nothing more. Yes. We love you. We will be using soon. Oh, how course. much is a detox mask? Um, 50, 50? Four. four. But, is 54. but also you'll get an additional 10% off because I have um, a coupon code I'll send you. <gasps> yes. Yes. You get 10% off. Wait, but did you tell them about the the the, the special with the Radiant Defense? We didn't talk about that. We've been masking. I didn't. We've been masking. We have four new shades of Radiant Defense. We They're do. Amazing. And I ordered my cream because I believe that cream is after. So there's shell, beige, cream, sand. Yes. I and want I think cream. that cream but is I my... caramel and honey also. I ordered it, oh. is my matte shade. Mm -hmm. And so we'll do this again. We'll do it in a couple days. We'll do a Radiant Defense, and I'll show you how you can mix, and, uh, not mix, match. Oh, yeah. You do one, two, three of your closest shades. Find the one that disappears. So if you want a Radiant Defense demo, respond, post, yes, ask. We will do that. Um, there's also an awesome bundle with the Radiant yes. Defense. You get... The two pack of the wipes, which by the way, for you lazy wash facers like me, it's just it do the face all wipe, your, all your makeup, throw the wipe out, the wash face, and then you can put on the radiant defense. Oh yeah, you don't right. have to. Um, you don't have to do the whole thing. That's true. Because the the our cloths have been have been shown in clinical trials. Sample of the mask. There isn't. So the, the packaging for the masks, you know that you can use it for 60 days and then return it. Just buy the mask. And then if you don't, if you don't like it, return it. Honestly, you can send back empty bottles. Um, and the best thing is to use it the once a week for the, you know, the 60 day challenge and see what it's done for you. Um, and that's the gift of this product. So you're like, eh, mm, didn't dig the this mask. I want this mask. And I would highly suggest everybody get for all over skin, you should get the Radiance and the Rejuvenation mask and the Detox mask, mm -hmm. obviously. Those three are like, without a doubt, no matter what your skin type is, do it. Mm -hmm. Well, do it, really, do it, do you're it. You're asking about a sample. Do you mean a sample of Radiant Defense or a sample of um, like the chart, the masks? Because there is a sample card of Radiant Defense going out, but is it the class? Are they changing the? No, every also new. Every PC order will ship the new ten shades mm -hmm. a sample card. So this month, um, Helene, if you're ready for a new cleanser and then want to try the detox mask or one of the other masks, we can talk. Then um, you. I just forgot what I was saying. Detox. Um, just, well, no. So oh, yeah, so you buy the with the Radiant Defense mask, shade, you, know, you can do a digital shade finder. I posted some of mm -hmm. those. And so if you get a Radiant Defense shade with the brush, you get the free, you get the micro, no, the washing um, two-pack. That's what the it, 56 one? wipes. Well, it's one per day. 60. It's 30 in package. 28. Oh, okay. So it's 54. 54 wipes. And you get the brush um, cleansing. The cleansing pad. Yes. Yes, because people don't know that you have to clean your brushes. Oh, speaking of which, so the other day I've been using lightning for a bit. Hi, so I'm Betty. trying to transition into lightning. And I said to Sandy that I was breaking out like I must be having a reaction to lightning. And so two things have come out of that. I checked the expiration date on my lightning and it was from my original kit. Um, it had expired a year ago. Yeah, you can't do that, guys. So I threw it out. Oh, no. And you might as well match me. Oh, yeah, that was great. Yes. So, um, hi, Wesley. Uh, Wesley was my friend in um, middle school and high school. So cute. Um, my hips are, are really bad. You're going to have to help me out of this bathtub. Okay. We are in my bathtub. Um, I'll help you out. Catch the replay. Um, catch the replay. Where is the line of my shirt? We have to wash these off. Um, that's Betty, first we have room for you right off. here. Yeah, see, we'll just super hey, we and pose your face right because here. Vegas is still happening. So when we go to oh, Vegas, without a doubt, together. or laptop, Vegas we'll is happening. Laptop together. I call um, it laptop. And I feel bad for Vegas. Like I can't even imagine what's possibly going on in Vegas. They will be happy to see us. 
Just us. Just, just me. And Betty. And Betty. And Annie. And Annie. <laughs> Annie, you must going to see you this we're, month. We're, we're going, going to Vegas. I'm coming. That's right. You were like, oh, I don't know. Am I going to Vegas? Yeah, we're going to Vegas. Come on now. We're going. Okay. I love you. This must end. And it's very long. <laughs> so you were saying before that if you purchase, if you take advantage of the Radiant Defense offer or any any order that you place this month, it your PC order. Oh, you come you with get a sample, sample card. card. So you can try it. Helene, but Colleen yes. wanted to try the detox mask. So the way that you can try it, you know that we have an amazing policy. 60 day empty bottle policy. You buy that, that mask that you want. Get it for yourself. Use it. Use it all. And if you don't love it at the end of your 60 days or before the end of your 60 days, you return it. We don't need to have samples because I mean, we do have great samples, but we don't need to have samples of every single thing because of how awesome our return policy is. And because of science. I mean, like, literally, I think we've learned a lot of science yeah. the last few weeks. Science, uh, in case you're wondering, is why our packaging is as such. Some of the masks come in a tube. Mm -hmm. Some of the masks come in a jar. The difference is the ingredients that come in the tubes cannot be exposed to oxygen because it will affect its efficacy, its quality. Um, so for a lack of preservatives, like Lash Boost is a lack of preservatives that um, gives it more efficacy um, and safety. Ophthalmologist tested and approved. Um, but that means then that it has a three-month shelf life. Um, and then after two months, it loses efficacy. Just like your mascara, three months, and then you got to throw it out because it starts to grow bacteria because of a lack of preservatives so that it's safe for your eyes. Anything you guys want to learn more about? Seriously, I could go all day. Yeah. I, we could be here for 24 hours. Yeah, except for the fact that my hips do hurt. Well, you wouldn't feel them after like two more hours. I know. We could turn on the bath. Okay, next time there will be bubbles. Probably not, because that'd be weird. Well, then we'll be wearing bathing suits. That's cool. Yeah, we can do it. I don't have one. We can figure that out. You're in a bathing suit? I don't. But I have this awesome shirt. Because remember, no matter what, when nothing... Oh, this is the best. Here, we'll end Except for the wine. When nothing no, goes perfect. right, when nothing goes right, go left. When and nothing goes right, go left. And for me, that's just looking to my left. Oh, yeah. I could cry. It's so great. That was so well said. <laughs> okay, we love you guys. Thanks love for you. joining us. Thank you. Bye. Bye.